proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. Kid just rages for a while. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Kid's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery, gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. Squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Then windbags are playing for keeps. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke.
Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. I'm just fooling. 